As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. Hello everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at an example of a transient thermal analysis in ANSYS Mechanical. So the problem that we're trying to solve is that we have this cabinet that houses hazardous material, as you can see here. And we want to know what is the maximum temperature on this hazardous material container when the cabinet is subjected to an external fire. So we'll be doing this using a transient thermal analysis, and we'll be taking into account all three modes of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. So the cabinet itself is made out of steel. So we'll also be taking into account uh, temperature dependent thermal conductivity, as you can see here. On, on the steel bodies. And then we're also modeling the volume of air that's internal to the container using this line body that's meshed with fluid 116 elements. Uh, it has a cross section assigned to it that fills the entire uh, interior volume with air. And we'll be using this for internal convection. As for the uh, conduction heat transfer, that is all taken uh, into account using these contact regions. Uh, so all the bodies that are touching will have conductive heat transfer. The fire boundary condition is applied using this uh, temperature to all the exterior surfaces. Uh, so we're going to hold that at 1700 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. Then we're going to extinguish the fire and then continue simulating out to 2000 seconds. Um, so the exterior is going to be convecting uh, to the environment using these convection boundary conditions here. Uh, you can see that these have uh, temperature-dependent convection coefficients in the tabular data down here. And how we generated those was using uh, this set of equations from Holman's heat transfer textbook. Uh, so these give us temperature-dependent convection coefficients based on surface orientations. So the, the horizontal and vertical surfaces will have different uh, sets of tabular data for these convection coefficients. So in addition to the exterior convection, we also have interior convection. Um, so using that same set of equations, we've generated these uh, interior convection coefficient tables. And these are convecting to the air that's in the uh, uh, interior of this cabinet. Uh, and that's done by turning on this fluid flow option in order to have convection between the interior surfaces and the uh, fluid 116 elements. And then lastly, we're taking into account internal radiation uh, using these radiation boundary conditions. Uh, so we have radiation to and from uh, the interior walls and the hazardous material container. So that's the setup. Let's take a look at some of our results. So here are the temperatures on the exterior of the cabinet. So we have the fire happening at the beginning, and then we have uh, that exterior convection uh, that is convecting heat to the environment. And then more importantly, what we're interested in are the results on this hazardous material container here. So we could take a look at those. Uh, one important thing to make sure in this analysis is that we were able to capture the, the peak temperature on this container. So if we look at our uh, graph here, it gets up to 1,464 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the temperature at the very end, uh, the maximum temperature is 1,445. So uh, if we were to simulate any further, the temperatures would only go down. So we were able to uh, capture that peak temperature. So this was an example of how to perform a transient thermal analysis in ANSYS Mechanical using conduction, convection, and radiation. Uh, this geometry comes from a workshop in DRD's ANSYS Mechanical Thermal Simulation course. So if you're interested in taking this course or seeing a more detailed webinar on this model, please use the links in the description below. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.